Hello everybody, this is JAG, and today we are going to be going into a certain film director. And why this film director? The reason is because he is the vision, the catalyst for making the Street Fighter legacy come to life in a way all of us have always dreamt of. Now, in order to fully enjoy this video, I've taken clips from the interview with Joey Ansa, the director of Street Fighter um, Assassin's Fist. And I took other clips from different things just to add some funny taste to it. And uh, the, the majority of this is for fun entertainment purposes, but this is only to put more emphasis on the series of Street Fighter Legacy. And in order to do that, we've got to hear from the director himself, Joey Yonsa. So here's the video, hopefully you guys like it. And I'll do a, you know, commentary here and there whenever I feel the need to. Thank you guys for watching, please like the video and subscribe for more videos of the Street Fighter Legacy vlogs. Thank you guys for watching and comment below for more cool, funny stuff. All right, guys, laters. Born Ultimatum was like my big break as an actor when I was 23. Rolling Stone magazine was like greatest movie fight of all time, you know, when it came out and it was like, wow. I almost thought, look, this is my opening hand. Wait till you guys see what I'm really capable of. And you know what, guys? He's absolutely right. What better way than to show you the awesome badass scene, the awesome badass fight scene in Born Ultimatum. Gotta watch it. Enjoy it. Watch this awesome kick ass scene. <laughs> I was doing this biology degree and I realized this isn't what I want to do with my life. You know, I want to do something creative. Like in the daytime, I'm doing my biology degree and stuff. By nights or weekends or 
skipping lectures, I would go and do extras work. Because I just thought, this will be my film school. And over that three years, I must have been on 60 different film sets. So yeah, so, that, so I had to realize that if I want to be an actor and be that action star, I have to focus on becoming a, a dramatic actor. Stuntmen almost never get given an acting role. Just thought, I'm better than your average guy. You know, me working in movies is, you know, it's possible. <laughs> Street Fighter 1, I have a very vague recollection of during my early childhood in London. But when the Mega Drive Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition dropped, I was all over that. Yeah, and I remember all the artwork and the hype of the new challenges, and I, I remember all that stuff super clearly. Street Fighter 2 Turbo on the Super Nintendo, and hyper fighting, and um, all the additions. I was caught up in all that hype. I played through all the Alpha games. Alpha 1, Alpha 2 in particular, I really liked. Alpha 3, I dabbled in a bit. Remember, Marvel Super Heroes came out, and X-Men vs. Street Fighter in the arcade. Me and Christian Howard, who plays Ken Masters in Assassin's Fist, we lived together for a period and we played um, MVC2 obsessively. So I think for both of us, MVC2 sticks out still as our kind of peak enjoyment of playing. That's so freaking badass, all right? So freaking badass because, you know what? It's like watching those Spanish IHOP commercials, like this one. Todos están enloqueciendo con los nuevos pancakes de IHOP, como los Jelly Donut Pancakes. Estos pancakes parecen una dona. Tiene glass, tiene todo, pero es un pancake. Los nuevos y sorprendentes Tiramisu Pancakes. Es una idea tan loca, pero tan rica. Y los abundantes Banana Gram Nut Pancakes. Plátanos por donde quiera. Ay, 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 ay. Hey, yeah. Ven a IHOP hoy mismo por los nuevos Signature Pancakes desde solo $4.99. Pero apresúrate antes de que la locura se acabe. Tú tienes que venir para acá y probar esto. As a game, what made Street Fighter stand out? You have a diverse range of characters with different personalities that allow players to identify with someone. Number two, real memorable music. The melodies, the original melodies of Street Fighter 2 are some of the best composed pieces of music because you can hum them and they're, they're contagious. So excited to the point where my gosh, I feel like eating a hot pocket. Yeah, just like this. When you want a hot meal without a big deal, what are you gonna pick? Hot pocket! When a hungry bunch shows up for lunch, what are you gonna pick? Hot pocket! Hot pockets, filled with delicious pepperoni pizza, chicken and cheddar, or ham and cheese in a crispy pocket. When it's late at night and you want a tasty bite, The hot meal in a pocket. What are you gonna pick? Hot pockets. Try lean pockets too. And the move sets. I love the fact that aside from the special moves, that the, the basic techniques of each character are so specifically designed. In terms of the lore of Street Fighter, I draw from all possible sources that are out there. So it's kind of like I would take the backbone, i.e. the story that is told in the games, and take the best elements from the Udon comic book series, the various animes, and try and make a cohesive, definitive backstory in the case of Assassin's Fist for the Unsatsuken characters. And it's so fragmented, the Street Fighter mythology, that I thought someone needs to unify it. And I think a lot of fans now, having watched Assassin's Fist, now regard that as that's the backstory, because it just coalesces everything together into just a sort of definitive, digestible chunk. Originally, I've developed a treatment for the World Warrior storyline rather than a movie, a serialized form to really tell the story. And they were like, we have Super Street Fighter 4 coming out. Maybe you could do something on a smaller scale. I was like, cool. So then I rewrote Concept for Legacy, a short that would just showcase like a proof of concept of the vision. And, and Ryo and Ken, we needed to see them fight because the movies hadn't given us that. Because the people that green light and make studio sized films and produce them don't have the knowledge of the game. And if you guys haven't seen the Street Fighter Legacy, here it is for you guys to watch.
どうやって俺を見つけた<笑>我は知らな企業秘密だ。ケン It's been a long time. They put a couple of special moves in, and that's it. They just give them generic, like martial arts choreography, which is absurd because it just shows there's not very many good choreographers out there. Whereas you can see meticulously every basic punch and uppercut and feint is in there. From Ryu and Ken's bobbing stance to Akuma's like, clawed stance to Goken's cleaner stance, everything was represented. You know, it, it would be a disservice to the fans of the mythos if, if all the basic moves weren't represented faithfully. And to have the true understanding of the Street Fighter game, you have to read a dude on comics, you have to have played all the games, you have to have watched all the animes, you have to be a player yourself and understand what makes players tick. It's taken until now for the stars to kind of align for Street Fighter, for someone who's super passionate like I am about the series, but is also, you know, hopefully what people see as a skilled filmmaker and, and really knows about action on film and martial arts and choreography, you know. I knew if I was happy with it and loved it and was exhilarated by it, how could other fans not like it? Street Fighter Resurrection is insane. I mean, as, as, as epic as Assassin's Fist was, this has been even more hard work it's so intense, there's so much action. There are more iconic characters in Resurrection virtually than there are in Assassin's Fist. It's, and the production values are crazy. There are gunfights, there are explosions that, yeah. You've just got to see it, check it out. And if you don't, you'll be sorry.